Hi children, welcome to Naira online classes. Today my topic is coordinate geometry of ninth class. In that sub topic is distance between two points. Now we will discuss some problems related to distance between two points. In that first problem is find the distance between the two points A log A to the base here comma 2 and B. B is 3 comma log 1 to the base A. Here I need to find out the distance between these two points A log A to the base A comma 2 and B 3 comma log 1 to the base A. So here log A to the base A value is 1. So this point becomes A 1 comma 2 and this point B is 3 comma log 1 to the base A log 1 to the base A value is 0. So here I need to find out the distance between these two points A, B 1 comma 2 and B 3 comma 0. Now we have a formula to find out the distance between the two points is root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here I will assume this point to be as x1, y1 and this point to be as x2, y2. So now here root of x2 minus x1 whole square. So here 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square. Here 2, 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2 whole square plus 0 minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 whole square. Here now 2 square is nothing but 4 plus minus 2 whole square is nothing but again 4 and get root 8. Root 8 is nothing means here 4 plus 4 is root 8. I can write this root 8 as 4 into 2. Root of 4 into 2. Again we have a formula root of a into b can be written as root a separately and root b separately. So I can write this one as root 4 into root 2. My answer becomes 2 root 2 units. My answer is 2 root 2 units. Now we will discuss one more problem how to find out the distance between the two points uh, which are connected to trigonometric functions. Now the second problem I need to find out the distance between these two points A 5 cos 35 degrees comma 0 and the point B is 0 comma 5 cos 55 degrees. Here I need to find out the distance between these two points 5 cos 35 degrees comma 0 and B 0 comma 5 cos 55 degrees. Now here again the same formula to find out A B root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here as usual, this is x1, y1 and this is x2, y1. Now, here 0, x2 minus x1 means 0 minus 0 minus 5 cos 35 degrees whole square plus 5 cos 55 degrees minus 0 whole square. Here, z root of 0 minus 5 cos 35 becomes minus 5 cos 35 degrees whole square plus 5 cos 55 minus 0 is nothing but 5 cos 55 degrees whole square. Here, here minus 5 whole square, it becomes 25 cos square 35 degrees plus Phi square is nothing but 25 cos square 55 degrees. Now, here in this both, I can take 25 as common. So, if I take 25 as common, I will get here cos square 35 plus cos square 55. Now, in the next, here 25, now cos square 35. I can write this cos square 55 as, I am writing this one as cos square 90 minus 95. 
90 minus 5. Here 25, root of 25, cos square 35 plus cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So I can write this cos square 90 minus theta as sin square. So we have an identity in trigonometric functions that cos square 35 plus sin square 35 value is 1. So I can write this one as root 25 into 1 is nothing but root 25 and my answer is 5 units. And my answer is 5 units. Now we go, we go for the other problem. One more problem related to distance between the two points. And that one is, I have three points. P, 6 comma minus 1 and the Q, 1 comma 3 and R, X comma A. Here, it asks you to find out the value of X if P, Q is equal to Q R. PQ is equal to QR. Now we gave that PQ is equal to QR. It means the distance between the two points PQ is equal to the distance between the two points QR. Now, as we well, squaring on both sides, if I do squaring on both sides, the square root will be cancelled here. So this becomes PQ square is equal to QR square. So I can write this one as the distance between these two points here. 1 minus 6 all square plus 3 minus 1 minus 1 becomes 3 plus 1 all square e is equal to x minus 1 all square plus 8 minus 3 all square. Now here 1 minus 6 is nothing but minus 5 all square plus 4 all square e is equal to x minus 1 all square plus 5 square. Here minus 5 all square is nothing but 25 plus 4 square is 16 e is equal to x minus 1 all square plus 25. Now 25 plus 16 is 41. So 41 e is equal to x minus 1 all square plus 25. Now I will, I will make x minus 1 all square of the subject. So this becomes x minus 1 whole square is equal to 41 minus 25. I get here x minus 1 whole square is equal to 16. Now, here if I make here x minus 1 whole square is equal to 16 means here x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus root 16. x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 16. It means x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 4. Now, I can have, now x have two values. Now here x minus 1 is equal to minus 4 and x minus 1 is equal to plus 4. Here x is equal to minus 4 plus 1. So this becomes x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to 4 plus 1 and it becomes x is equal to 5. It means my x values can be in this is minus 3 and 5. Minus 3 or 5. Now we will discuss one more problem. Let's discuss one more problem. You have a line segment of length for 10 centimeters. It means I have a line segment AB of length 10 units. It means the distance between these two points is 10 units. Now we gave one end of the point, one end of the line segment as one end of the line segment as 2 comma minus 3. And in the other end of the point, other end of the line segment, in that we gave the axis as 10 and we asked him to find out the ordinate. I'll assume the ordinate to be x. I'll assume the ordinate to be x. It means he gave the length of the line segment AB is equal to 10. Length of the line segment AB is equal to 10. It means if I do the squaring on both sides, if I do squaring on both sides it becomes AB square is equal to 
10 square. It becomes AB square is equal to 100. Now AB square, my formula is, here the distance between these two points, 10 minus 2 whole square, 10 minus 2 whole square plus x minus or minus becomes x plus 3 whole square is equal to 100. Now 10 minus 2 whole square is nothing but 8 whole square plus x plus 3 whole square is equal to 100. Now 8 square is nothing but 64 plus x plus 3 whole square is equal to 100. If I transfer this 64 to the right hand side, this becomes x plus 3 whole square is equal to 100 minus 64 is nothing but x plus 3 whole square is equal to 36. Now, if I want to find out here, this x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus root 36. x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus root 36. This becomes x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus 6. Here also again, I'll get x values, 2x values. Here, x plus 3 is equal to minus 6 one value and x plus 3 is equal to plus 6 one value. Here, x is equal to 6 minus 3. Here, x is equal to 3. Here, x is equal to minus 6 minus 3. It becomes x is equal to minus 9 and x is equal to 3. So, these are the two x values. Means, my ordinate can be 3 or minus 9 to get the level of the line segment ABS 10 centimeters. Okay? Okay, children, have a nice day.